Hello, hello, it's Stumflet here. Here's an item on number theory. For how many positive integers n less than 2022 20, is the sum of the odd positive divisors of n 24? Credits to the Philippine Mathematical Olympiad for this item. As usual, pause this video if you'd like to give this item a try. But if you're done, let us dive into the solution. Now here, um, we're talking about the sum of the divisor, the sum of the odd positive divisors. And here, I'm just going to make the claim that um, I don't think I, the even factors in the prime factorization of n will matter. Although I know that to get the sum of the divisors, I would have to prime factorize. But since we're talking about just the sum of the odd ones, I think we could just ignore the even factors for now. Now to kind of make my point clear, here's an example. Um, I have 15, 30, and 60. I'm going to prime factorize it. Uh, I'll just list down the factors, and I've highlighted the even factors in green. Now, what the numbers have in common is that it's just 15 times a power of 2, right? Now, I chose 15, 3 times 5 because it's the smallest two prime numbers multiplied together. So, yeah. All right, so taking a look at the factors of 15, it's 1, 3, 5, and 15. Obviously, they're all odd because um, there are no even numbers in the prime factorization of 15. But for the 30 and the 60, um, I do have a factor of 2 in the front. And that's obviously going to contribute some uh, even factors. But if I were to ignore the even factors, I've highlighted all of them in green. Let's just ignore the 2, the 6, the 10, and the 30 in the factors of 30. And what you see is that, well, I do just have 1, 3, 5, and 15. Now, if we only care about the evens, essentially, I'm just kind of counting um, the factors of 15. So kind of ignoring this 2 over here. With the same logic in the 60, I could cancel, uh, I could just ignore the 2, 4, 6, 10, 12, 20, 30, and 60 over here. And I'll just end up with the 1, 3, 5, and 15 as the odd factors of 60. So essentially, I could just kind of ignore the power of 2 in the prime factorization. Okay, so that's uh, the point here. If I were to just get the sum of the odd positive divisors, I'll take the prime factorization, just ignore the power of 2. Now, in fact, 15, 30, and 60 there are actually examples that actually work here because, well, if you try to add the factors of 15, 1, 3, 5, and 15, that's 24, which is good. Now, um, it's very uh, nice for us because uh, 3 and 5, well, well, they're just the two smallest odd prime divisors. So any other possible combination of prime numbers would just give a um, we just give the sum of the odd divisors bigger than 24. This is the absolute minimum that we can do with two different odd divisors. Now obviously if I'm going to raise, um, raise it to the second power, the third power, the sum will just increase. So it's not going to be 24 anymore. So um, this is the absolute minimum already. So um, that's good. We just kind of have to just kind of count um, the number of um, number of numbers 15 times a power of 2 that are less than 2022. 20, but there is one thing that we, uh, we kind of missed. This is technically two uh, factors, uh, two prime numbers. And I said that's, a, that's the extreme case, yes. But we shouldn't forget the fact that there could only be, uh, there could, it could possibly be just one uh, factor, which is just meaning, which, which, just, mean, which just means that it's, a, it's just a prime number. Now, since the sum of the odd positive divisors is 24, well, I guess 23 is one of them. Because the factors of 23, 23 is prime, so just 1 and 3. And with the same logic, a power of 2 times 23 should also have the sum of the odd divisors being 24. So 1 plus 23, that's 24, obviously. In the 46, 2 and 46, removing those, it's just going to give me 1 and 23. And similar reasoning for the 92. Now then again, this is just already the extreme case since it's just only one factor. So I think we've covered, it, uh, we've covered all the possible cases here, all right? Now, it's really just a matter of us to count how many are there because, well, we do know the pattern, or sorry, we know the format already. It's either going to be 23 times a certain power of 2 or 15, which is 3 times 5, times a certain power of 2. And we just kind of have to count. So, uh, I know the general format in the first one. It's just going to be uh, 2 raised to k times 23. And then in the second one, it's just going to be 2 raised to k times 15. Could kind of try to solve for k in both cases. That's going to allow me to um, get how many are there in each case. So I'm going to consider the first case, 2 raised to k times 23. So 2 raised to k times 23 
uh, that's obviously going to be less than 2022. Now, I don't have to get the, um, get something exact here because k here is obviously an, a, posit, uh, a positive integer because um, we're talking about perfect. Uh, so we're, tra we're talking about powers of two. So um, two raised to k that's going to be less than 2022 over 23, and uh, that's approximately um, that's approximately less than 90. I could say that um, that's approximately less than 90. I'm pretty sure it's greater than 80, but what we necessarily uh, what we just what we just need here is just the value of k and i'm just going to tell you guys that the k here uh we're going to get that k is less than or equal to six so um since we're talking about 23 times a certain power of k uh the minimum value of k is zero because it can be two raised to one for the 23 case in this case so um counting the integers from zero to six there are seven numbers in the sequence in the first one so we have seven numbers in the first case we're going to do something similar for the 2 raised to k times 15. Uh, 2 raised to k times 15 being less than 2022. 20, and from here, I'll just directly tell you guys that k would be less than or equal to 7. Again, we don't really need exact calculations here because we're not really finding the extreme value of k. We're just finding integer values of k here. So k equals 7 would be the largest possible value here. So um, counting integers from 0 to 7, that's going to give us that there are eight numbers in the second case that works, right? We've checked all cases, seven from the first case, eight from the second, a total of 15 possible cases. So there are 15 possible values of n, such that the sum of the odd positive divisors is 24. And this will be our final answer. Hopefully you guys learned something new from this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.